Hi Bethel, my name is Jordan Kraus. I'm on uh, staff this year with the summer students. On Thursday, I started to get this weird tingle in the back of my throat. Thought it was maybe related to the smoke and then I ended up waking up that morning at three in the morning to a sore throat. So I ended up scheduling a test the next day, got tested and eventually got a negative test back. So as I talked with, uh, you know, Pastor James, we felt it was best for um, that I won't be, that I shouldn't come back to work until I am completely symptom free just because this week we're working with the kids. So um, as I'm filming right now, there are kids running and playing around um, at the church. Um, it's Monday. So it was a very hard dose of reality. And we've been preparing a lot for campuses over the past week. So it's really hard not being able to be there with the kids right now um, and kind of seeing kind of the fruits uh, or the seeds turn into fruits as we had planned so much. And now there's 130 kids running around and playing and um, it's tough not being able to be a part of that. And, you know, you feel like maybe you're letting down the team as well as, you know, you're just, you're just worried that, you know, it, there's just so much frustration and, and I don't know, it's just a world of emotions right now for me. And uh, I kind of ask myself, I sit here and ask myself, you know, where's God in all of this? And what, what what's his big plan with making me sick when I'm being his hands and feet at work this this week at camp? Why why would he why would this be a part of the plan his plan? You know why why is there this hindrance in my way this block? And I really pondered that question over especially yesterday because I remember being frustrated with my situation and really angry. And uh, I tried to flip the lens. And I'm kind of working on flipping the lens on um, just seeing maybe the good and what God is trying to do. Uh, you know do for me maybe give me a chance to rest and and think about um you know reflect on that the last little bit i've had a very busy summer um doing a lot of planning and working at the church maybe this is god giving me a rest period that i um, don't think i need but he he knows i need so um and this kind of brought me to the verse that i've been i that i you know i've been reflecting on over the past little bit um comes from the sermon on the mount um so one of Jesus' teachings is on worrying and do not worry because I, I feel like I'm I'm worried I won't be able to make it back to camp this week. That's worrying about the future and for me I'm there's you can't you know, there's no there's so much uncertainty and, and there's no reason to worry about something that I can't really control. Um so um I'll just read the passage that came up to mind for me. Um so it's Matthew um chapter six, verse twenty five to thirty four. So <clears throat> therefore I tell you do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body and what you will wear. It's not, is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in the barns. And yet from heavenly Father feed, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Sol Solomon in all his splendor uh, was dressed like all of these, like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe, will he not much more clothe you? You of little faith, do not worry of saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For the pagans run around all these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So, there's a lot of meat in that passage and a lot of really good things, but um, the verse 34 sums up pretty well for me. Uh, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And I think... It's hard to be um, short-minded when you want to look to the future and, and plan and stuff. And um, you can't really control anything except how you you know, your current state right now, what can you do to make things better? And uh, you have to trust that, you know, uh, that God will provide. And that's a hard thing to do. Um, and I think I, I really like how it talks about seeking the kingdom first um, and your needs will be provided rather than seeking my own needs. I want to work. But I'm not really seeking maybe God first. I have to find a way to make sure that my eyes are centered on God, not on the fact that I want to complete a specific task per se. Sometimes there's all, there can be wrenches thrown into your plans. Um, but at the end of the day, the Lord provides. And um, yeah, it's it's a tough 
kind of dose of reality, but I'm really hoping that on Wednesday things will be better um, so that I can work with the kids again. But even if it's not, I just have to trust that um, God will provide. And if he provides for the birds who fly around aimlessly and gives them food, even though they don't really, you know, it's kind of chaotic and they don't really know what they're doing, he surely should provide for um, me, who's who I've been made in his image and stuff. So, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about for my midweek devotion. I want to encourage my brothers and sisters in Christ, too, that, uh, you know, life's not easy and everyone is carrying a heavy unseen burden so treat everyone um in a an appropriate manner understanding that and i hope everyone has a fantastic week stay safe and uh i guess we'll see you next week sometime